getting very naughty. Yeah, so for the video, this is Gwyn. And she's just said he's being very naughty. So like we did with Erin, you see, when he pulled, you kind of speeded your walk up to keep yeah. up with him. We don't do that. So when he pulls, just stop. Stop and pull as you stop. And then you see how he's not moved? Yeah. So when you stopped, he just stopped, but he still stopped in front of you. So what you need to do is pop him back, that's it, and then walk forward. So even when he's gone the other way, you set off forward. That's better. And you'll have to do it if you take, he won't stay there, he'll surge forward again. So the second you feel that lead go straight, just stop and give that pop. Good, walk forward. You see he's, he's spinning himself, but... But look how tense that arm is. Your other one's swinging backwards and forwards, this one's staying still. So be aware of that as well. Also, if you start swinging that arm, he'll get fed up with the little taps on his neck and start walking that bit slower for you. But he's not doing bad, is he? No. Is that good for him or bad for him? Or This is about right for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, in his lead, you see what you've done again, you've given him more lead. Every time you give him more lead, he's going to be more of a divvy. So now you need to stay on this side ideally so that your dog's furthest away from that dog. That's it. Keep him moving. What does he do? Does he do anything? Oh, he pulls you. Okay. He generally don't. I think it's because he's on leave. Well, it, you see what he did? He pulled and cut across you, so he's disrespecting you. So yeah. we don't want him to do that neither. Because if that dog had been reactive, the way he pulled and came at it, even though he didn't make a sound or do anything, it could have triggered... So if, he, if I was walking past with Blue, it could have triggered Blue because yeah. he's literally saying, who are you? Yeah. So we don't want that, and we don't want him pushing you out of the way, neither. That's rude. Call him back. Wait, wait, come. Wait, come. Good, Good boy. Good boy. This week all right, isn't it, when there's yeah. nothing around? Don't know what it's like when there's something. Um, if he gets going, Steve goes to stop. Right, yeah. He made the stop. So if, it, if, it, if you're walking him and he was off lead and you saw, you say, another dog can remain there, would you leave him off lead or would you put him on lead? Well, we've always left him off. And no, him. put him on, yeah. yeah. That's why he's shoving you out the way, because he's like, I, I must go and look at this yeah. dog. And I think that's probably about him being friendly and that. Um, yeah, no. Wait, yeah, come. Right. This is why you never let them be off lead because you don't know what they're going to do to the people and people get frightened of them. Oh. So on sight of anything, people, dogs, horses, I'll put you this side, the way you can pass. Just keep him on this side if you want. Thank you, sorry. No. Tell me about that. Oh, and then no more. So oh, keep, yeah. keep him on this side. Keep your lead short, he's got too much lead. Hold it here. That's it. And keep him on that side. And so you can use your leg to push him over that side if he's going to be a diva. Keep moving. Keep going, keep going. Money. Good. Or keep just walking past. Morning. Morning. Now you see what you did there? You put tension with your arm and pulled back, which triggered him to go. <laughs> yeah. So you have to not put tension and you pop up. Never pull back because that's like, think yeah. of the boys at the pub, they have a shandy and they, they think they, they can take the world on and all the mates are holding them back. But as soon as the mates let go and say, you've been a dick, and walk away, they're yeah. like, oh yeah, well, anyway. Wait. And they disappear, so dogs are very much the same. Wait. Wait. Right. Wait. Come. Come. Close. 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 But will you do that past the dog? No. No, I, I, I think so. Yeah. Wait. Close. So, just to be safe. Close. Yeah, so he's just blanking you. So, yeah. we, we've got some improvements we can be doing with him then. Yeah, he, he'll stay close if you've got a poop. Yeah, yeah. 
So he's doing it. That's why you're kind of bribing them. He's doing it for the treat, but he yeah. won't do it without the treat. You have to take it from bribing them, which is where you're basically shaping what you want, to then getting them to do the act before you give the treat. Yeah. Call him. Queen, come. Come, come. Queen, come. For the video as well, Gwyn has hip displays here. So I presume he won't ever give a speedy, will he? Will he be speedy sometimes? Yeah, he can be. Oh, so we want speedy returns off him then. <laughs> so because he's gone that way, we're going to go this way. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good boy. Now we're going to go that this way because we can't get this way. I just wanted to see where, which, how far he was going to go. So we'll go. Just keep walking. Queen, come on. He's like, oh. Good boy. So things like that change your directions. You don't deserve a biscuit for that. No, you get one. <laughs> no, but you come back for one, didn't you? You just cooked as well. That's it. So you just slowly dispense the treats to him. Keep your hand still, wherever your hand goes, the dog goes. So you just keep your hand literally on your, against your hip. That's it. And that's how you get your um, nice heel. You see how he's that bit further behind you? So that's where his rewards come from. And then you just drip treats slowly into his now there you go you see this time he didn't drift right away he stayed closer but then he drifted away so you just make them work for longer the better they get at it the, the longer you hold the treat and make them work for longer you don't let the dog finish the exercise you always finish oh. the exercise so when you run out of treats then you can say free and release him you never let the dog release himself So to help them out, you can use your hand and move your hand around. And then when he touches it or eats it, you tell him. So you see, he's not understood. See, and that's it. Good boy. He went. Okay. Right, it's in the, the end of the thing now. Send him on. So it's a little bit trickier because he has to work out how to get it. He can smell it. <laughs> Good boy, well done. <laughs>